That's set number one done. Certainly a lot easier watching it and shouting from the sidelines than it is doing it. <laughs> Here we are back at Keithley Track for the last week of our VO2 Max sessions in our 5 and 10k tune up. Obviously, you can see I'm not running today, I'm in my jeans. Um, I have decided that I'm going to take four weeks off of running, completely off of running, to see if I can sort out these Achilles issues that I've been having. I've been having them for about 10 months now and trying to manage them and just recently because i've cut back my mileage quite a lot i was only really doing hard efforts and things were just getting worse rather than better so I decided i'm going to try and pull out of the nosedive spend the next four weeks not running just focusing on my strength and conditioning work and on flexibility and see if i can finally put them to bed that does of course mean there's not going to be quite as many running videos on the channel for the next four weeks or not at least not running by me uh, I'm still going to be doing some filming, some race logs for the rest of the Harrogate Summer District Racing League races, which Mary and the rest of Skipton AC are doing. And then any other races that we go to, um, I will be doing a bit of filming there. And I'm also going to do some videos just looking at the strength and uh, recovery work that I'm doing and just detailing how that's going on. But I'm here at the track today uh, because we've got the rest of Skipton AC with me. Here we go. So I'm going to be leading the session for them today and doing a bit of filming of their running so we can look at their form and hopefully improve. This is the last of our VO2 Max sessions. So just to recap, VO2 Max is where we're running at the maximum, the pace that causes us to use the maximum amount of oxygen or just below that pace. Next week we're moving into our threshold work and our threshold is the pace that we ought to be able to hold for about an hour. These last VO2 Max workouts we're going to be getting the team to just think a little bit about lengthening those intervals and trying to relax into them so that when we slow it down a bit next week we'll already be comfortable with a slightly faster pace and that threshold's going to feel really easy but today we are doing three times five minute intervals at our vo2 max pace and <laughs> vo2 max intervals are just always so much fun fun uh, it takes about two minutes to warm up to where you're using the maximum amount of oxygen so it'll always feel okay at first but then those last three minutes uh, are really going to be quite a grind so let's see how the team get on okay ready three two one go Seconds left. Let's go, go, go. It's a good job I am in jeans and a jumper because I really want to join. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. It's always difficult taking a break from something you're passionate about, something that you love, but got to think about the fact that if you were injured or you've got an injury taking four weeks off now might mean not taking off three months later on taking three months off might mean not taking six months off later on and we're going to come back stronger we're going to come back better so got to focus on that and I really want to make sure that I am fit and I can get a nice block of training in for Amsterdam half marathon and Valencia marathon that's the focus now racing against my friend Martijn in that so hoping I can give him a good run for his money. Okay just coming up on three minutes. Okay three two one go. All right, chaps, 30 seconds left. Push all the way to the end. Great job. Come on, Mike.
that's it. That is a uh, three times five minute intervals at VO2 max pace. Team did really well, really consistent all the way to the end. Um, we want to do the least work for the most benefit. So remember, if you can't run that last interval at the same pace as the first one, you may as well have not done it. So really top session, really good work from everybody. Now I'm going to go home and sob because I couldn't take part. So that's it for today. We will be back next week to do the first of our threshold intervals, which is going to be the last part of the puzzle to our 5 and 10k training program. But until then, peace, love and veggies.